All right, I've designed here a uh, vacuum form mold for a car stand for a 118th scale uh, Mini T or associated uh, 18T. So I have a couple pennies on the vacuum One, form two, mold, three, four, and that's going to keep this separated from the form to get suction all the, around the sides. This is the frame with the polystyrene on it. The oven set for 500 degrees. We're gonna slide it in here. 500. And now what we're watching for is gonna get ripply on the corners. It'll start to wrinkle. Uh, it'll actually bubble up a little bit. It'll then sag. Once it sags, it'll start to retighten. And that's when we know it's ready. It's gonna come on and go on Whoa. to the uh, mold. Look, it's bubbling. Make sure you have your pot holder and your oven mitt. All right, it's bubbling, starting to sag. Now we're going to watch it to start to tighten back up. Go, oh, turn that on, turn that on. Get off that. Don't stand on my back. Don't and stand on it, stop bag you. Center it. You can turn it off, Austin. Take it off. Now there's my platform to work on my car. Cut this out. I'm going to put some foam rubber on top there. I got a place to work on my car, keeps it up off the ground, keeps the wheels off the ground. And that's vacuum forming. Uh, things I could have done to make it draw in a little more would be to put some holes in here. Uh, that'll help let the suction pull can down inside. Well, can I feel it? Sure. Ooh, that's really moody. Oh, that is. Okay. Ooh, that's really moody. Can I feel okay. Oh, it's quick and okay. so you have to do it quick. Yep. Do it quick. Yep. Why does it have the holes? Because there are holes here. Just where it's up to. Can we have our pennies back? Sure. No, it's okay. uh, two of them were mine. Oh, can we have all three? 